Hi, this is another installment in the video series, Blue Painter's Tape is a Laser Engraver's Friend. In part three, we talked about using painter's tape for masking by taping the wood, burning the design through the tape into the wood, paint it or fill it with epoxy, then peel off the tape to reveal your painted engraving. This time I'm going to show you a more intricate design and how to more easily remove the masking tape instead of it being a tedious exercise and taking more time than is needed. I'm going to burn two identical designs on the board and show you the difference in hand peeling the tape versus an inexpensive tool that I want to show you. I'm going to put this board in the laser after I tape it up. I'll show you it being engraved and then show you how to more easily remove the tape while saving a lot of time and frustration. Okay, so now that we've got it burnt and engraved on, I want to show you what we can do. Some of this I didn't mean to cut through, but that's beside the point. We just want to show you about the peeling off the tape afterwards. So you see all these little circles up top. And yeah, you can peel them off by hand one at a time, but it's kind of a pain. I mean, you know, it wouldn't be bad if you just had a few of them, but look at how many we got here. There's one. There's one. You know, just a pain. And then down here on the little, let's go ahead, before I, before I finish, I'm going to peel off the main tape first. So let's just get that out of the way. So even these bigger parts are kind of a pain sometimes to peel off. So instead of doing that by hand all the way through, you know, here's here's a piece. It's not too bad, it's big. We can peel it off. You know, there's all these little pieces in here. Oh man. You know, you can scrape them off with your fingernail, get them off, but Let's try something a little different. So this is a razor blade scraper, except it's a plastic, a plastic blade and a plastic handle. See that it looks like a razor blade. This is held in a little plastic handle. And I bought these for like I don't know, ten bucks or something like that. I'll, I'll uh, put put the description of what I bought in the or, or put what I bought in the description. Even though I'm not sponsored by any of this, I just bought this on my own. And there's other brands out there, I'm sure, but this is the one I got. I'll, I'll put it in the description. But here's what you can do with it. Especially, so let's start up here on the circles. So we just put it on there and just easily scrape like you would scrape paint. And look at those things peeling up. Look how much faster that is. And especially down here on this bicycle, all these, all the spokes and everything to be uncovered. So you just take it, just easily go through there, scrape it off. You know, I'm gonna have to clean it every now and then because it sticks on it. But 
peel that back over there. Get that little piece off. Let's do it again. Shove all those things off of there. Look how much faster that is. So, whether you paint fill it first and then scrape it off, or you just wanted to help reduce some of the smoke damage that would get on the rest of it, this is a good way of, of doing it. And when you have these intricate patterns like this, it's so much easier to peel off like that. Now there's other methods of doing this. I've heard people using duct tape, stick on there and peel it off. And uh, if anyone likes to see a video of that, I can do one of those. Also, any video you guys would like to see, please put it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. But this is a time saver big time right here. Especially if you use blue painter's tape to help you do your masking. Thanks. So please subscribe and pr press the like and please comment on anything you'd like to see. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, see you then.